The ceremony will begin in 10 minutes.
The ceremony will begin in five minutes. You have just completed something special, but please remember learning never stops. It's always okay to ask for help and to keep growing your skills. Have fun and enjoy this wonderful time. Congratulations on your accomplishments. Always show up as your best self. Believe in yourselves and be fearless. Celebrate your accomplishments. You are so powerful. Know your worth and that you can achieve anything. Use your weaknesses as your strengths and carve your path in life. You're a true original. Let your colors shine brightly for the world. As a graduate, you've already understood the value and power of education. Now more than ever, this is the chance to create your own story. Trust your instincts, be courageous and kind, generous and fearless. Congratulations. This is a time like no other for which you will be pioneers. Wear that badge proudly and pave the way for future graduates. Times may be tough, but you will persevere. Your time as a student at SAIT has prepared you to be strong and adaptable. Cherish your happiest and hardest moments and carry them forward to face everything head on. Best wishes and congratulations. Graduating from SAIT with the technical skills you learned has prepared you for your career path. However, the work ethic and friendships you've gained through the journey will prove to be as important as those technical skills. Welcome, Class of 2020. SAID has done an amazing job preparing you for the world and to step out on your own. Never forget the memories you had during your journey at SAID. Welcome to the family. The ceremony will begin in one minute. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one.
Today's ceremony is unlike anything we've ever experienced before, but it's no less momentous. We're proud you're celebrating with us. This is a significant occasion when we get to see the power of hard work and resolution. Today is full of opportunity. It's both the end of a journey and the beginning of a new one. It's time to look back on your experiences at SAIT and know you've accomplished something truly incredible. Graduates, you set out to earn a world-class education and you did it. You are here. Welcome to SAIT Spring 2020 Virtual Convocation Ceremony. Our program begins with a greeting to the graduating class from the Chair of State's Board of Governors, Mr. Scott Thon. Hi everyone. It's great to meet with you today and to bring you greetings on behalf of State's Board of Governors. And while we're meeting virtually today, I did want to make sure and acknowledge that State is on the traditional territories of the people of Treaty 7 region of Southern Alberta. Now this includes the Blackfoot Confederacy, the Sutina First Nation, and the Stony Nakoda. And of course, Calgary is also the home to the Métis Nation of Alberta, Region 3. Well, it's, it would be a bit of an understatement to say that these are unusual times. And I'm coming to you today from my home, and I know that many of you finished your classes from your own homes or some remote location. And that felt like a very unusual way to finish off your coursework. But I want to make sure that you don't diminish in any way the accomplishment that you've achieved. You know, be deliberate. Make sure that you take the time to recognize and celebrate with your family and your friends the incredible work that you've done and the discipline you've had to achieve what you've done at say to be able to graduate now you know you guys come from a very diverse group of schools um, you are the best of the best across eight different schools from aircraft structures and professional cooking to construction project management journalism and business administration to medical lab technicians and petroleum engineering and network systems you are the jobs and the careers that keep our city and our province and our country, quite frankly, running. And I know that these are unusual times, but I want to remind you 
that safe graduates have shaped our world in a positive way after some of the most unusual things that our globe has ever faced. You know, whether it's the Spanish flu, whether it's the world wars, state graduates came out and they made an impact. And I know that you're going to do the same. So now is a great time to celebrate. Stay connected to SAIT as you move into the, the world. You know, stay collect, connected to your classmates. You've built some great relationships. The Alumni Association is a great way to do that. Um, if you need to get more skills, SAIT's always going to be there for you. And heck, maybe even you come back and become a teacher at SAIT. We'd all love that. So congratulations to the class of 2020. You will always be known as the class that persevered. And I, for one, cannot wait to see the impact you're gonna have on our world. Congratulations. State President and CEO, Dr. David Ross. Congratulations, class of 2020. I'm honored to be speaking to you today and I hope wherever you are watching from, you are celebrating in a way that is meaningful to you. Perhaps you have dressed up and hopefully you have something on hand to toast your achievements. Certainly, a bit of improvising is required. In my 30 year career rather in post-secondary education, I have never imagined what we have all experienced in the last four months. Nor did I imagine being in my regalia, speaking to you, uh, from my home today. Our world has changed. How we work, how we teach, how you learn has all altered. My confidence in you as you move through this uncertain time of reinvention in our city, in our province, and around the world comes from SAIT's history. If you didn't know, uh, our institution has a hundred year track record of adapting and remaining focused on developing not only career-ready graduates just like you, but game-changing individuals. Now, SAIT opened its doors in 1916 with 11 students and a mandate to train veterans returning from the First World War. We were called the Provincial Institute of Technology and Art, and we were the first publicly funded polytechnic in Canada, and I believe in North America. Over the years, the school matched community needs by refashioning itself as a hospital during the Spanish flu pandemic and as a Royal Canadian Air Force wireless training school in the Second World War. Through global sickness, world wars, and the booms and busts of subsequent decades, SAIT has evolved but its model of education has remained rooted in training skills for the future. Skills that are not only technical and hands-on, but also the human, interpersonal skills every successful graduate must have, that you have. Now you are entering the workforce, I know, at a challenging time, but you have the opportunity through your SAID experience to make a difference, to be the newest trailblazers and our institution's next history makers. You have learned teamwork and collaboration through capstone projects, through case competitions, student club participation, and national exposure through skills and Trojans athletics. You have brainstormed, planned, pitched business concepts to dragons and industry partners. Now, many of you through your programs have traveled to other countries. You've used your skills to, to bring water and electricity to underprivileged communities. You have cooked for, served, and hosted our city's elite at events like the President's Dinner and HOSPO. And some of you even graduated a bit early this year so you could step onto the front lines of the COVID-19 crisis. Now, unlike any other graduating class in SAIT's 104 history, you spent your last semester 
learning remotely. Not because it was part of the curriculum, because you had no choice. From that, you adapted, you innovated, and you pivoted. This is what our province needs now more than ever. Professionals who can get the job done, regardless of where you are. Who have creative and technical ability to develop ideas and products that will improve our world and individuals with the curiosity and relentless drive to find solutions. I wanna close with a heartfelt thank you. No one more could have predicted what we are in the middle of and no one had the crystal ball telling us when it will be over. Your, your loved ones, you make a difference in, this, in, in, the, in the lives rather in success of our students. We recognize the world around you and most likely your own circumstances have changed. Thank you for supporting our students and seeing them to this significant finish line. Now to the faculty and staff who have helped you get here. Thank you. Without their dedication, support, commitment, we would not have gotten to this graduation day. And to you, of course, our graduates, your patience, your persistence as students, it's to be commended. On behalf of the SAIC community and your instructors, thank you. You led by example and it motivated us to do our very best for you. SAIC graduates, congratulations. You got this. SAIC has prepared you for the future you are facing. Stay safe and do great things. Awarded every year, the President's Awards recognize and celebrate student achievement. And now, the presentation of the 2020 President's Award recipients. Beta Sigma Tau, SAIT's chapter of the Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society, is this year's recipient of the President's Student Leadership Award. The group has been working tirelessly to help SAIT students achieve their full potential through development, scholarships, and volunteer opportunities. In 2018, they achieved five-star chapter status, and in 2019, they were recognized with the highest student engagement award at the Phi Theta Kappa National Conference. Beta Sigma Tau demonstrates thoughtfulness and innovation through their volunteerism and community efforts. We're pleased to acknowledge this year's recipient of the President's Student Leadership Award, Beta Sigma Tau. As part of State Centennial in 2016, we introduced the President's Medal to celebrate outstanding student achievement. Now, we acknowledge recipients at our convocation ceremonies each year. The President's Medal recognizes individual students for their accomplishments as outstanding leaders and volunteers who have demonstrated academic excellence. This year, we're pleased to have two President's Medal recipients Ryan Morstad and Jatendra Salanki. Ryan is graduating with a Bachelor of Business Administration, major in financial services from the School of Business. Since 2016, Ryan has made his mark at SAIT, taking on many roles, including president and co-founder of the Calgary Surf Club SAIT, member of Academic Council, chairman of the SAITSA Board of Directors, and most recently, president of SAITSA. Ryan exemplifies what it means to be a stellar student and community leader. Yatendra is graduating from the Power Engineering Technology Program in the McPhail School of Energy. He is known for his ability to inspire those around him through his leadership and humble approach. Yatendra, an international student from India, brings his passion for creating an inclusive experience for international students to state by spending his time outside the classroom as the president of the South Asian Student Society of SAIT, 
director of the SAIT Sub Board of Directors, and a mentor for the SAIT Peer Mentorship Program. Yatendra is the epitome of a truly engaged student, both inside and outside the classroom. We're pleased to acknowledge both Ryan and Yatendra as recipients of our 2020 President's Medal. Presentation of SAIT's 2020 Honorary Degree. Awarding of an honorary degree is recognition by SAIT of distinguished achievement in business, the creative arts, or public service, provincially, nationally, or internationally. We are proud each year to welcome accomplished professionals and passionate citizens to our alumni family. Now it gives me great pleasure to present Mandy Renahan with an honorary Bachelor of Science in Construction Project Management degree from SAIT. Mandy is the founder of Freshco. She founded the company at the age of 19 and it has grown into the first full service 24 seven on-call retail maintenance provider with coverage across Canada and the Eastern United States. The company serves retail giants like Apple, Banana Republic, Home Depot, and Nike, just to name a few. Mandy will tell you that what sets her company apart is their personality. Once you hear Mandy's keynote address, you will understand why. She left her hometown of Yarmouth, Nova Scotia, which by the way, happens to be my hometown, with nothing more than a hockey bag full of possessions. Today, she is working to help solve the skilled trade shortage in North America. She is a sought after speaker, philanthropist, trade industry ambassador, and multiple award-winning entrepreneur, being named Canada's most admired CEO. Mandy is also a lead advisor to the federal government's national campaign, encouraging apprenticeships and promoting the skilled trades as a career. SAID is very proud to present a Bachelor of Science in Constructive Project Management to Mandy Renahan. Hi everybody, Mandy Renahan here, the Blue Collar CEO and founder of Freshco.ca not the grocery store. Dr. Ross, I wanna thank you so very much for giving that wonderful welcome into why Mandy Renahan for this honorary degree in science construction project management. Holy shit, all that in a Subway sandwich, a beer and a freaking bag of chips on top. Thank you for picking me. What everybody here is gonna find so funny is that I am also not only an award-winning entrepreneur, I am a sought-after keynote speaker, which means that I most times walk out onto the stage and I, as you probably will probably see a little bit more, I like sentence-enhancing words. And my idea is that your energy and my energy blend and it turns into an absolute wonderful occasion. But. Right now, because of us being in a very unfortunate pandemic right now, I am staring at a very tall man behind a camera right now that's telling me that I need to try to motivate you on a camera and that is what we're going to do. Is it awkward? Yes. But do we need to pivot in these times? Absolutely. So picture it. Mandy Renahan growing up in Yarmouth, Nova Scotia, everybody. Yarmouth, Nova Scotia. If you've never been there, if you don't know anybody from there, that needs to be your first trip. Why? Because we all know what just happened in my home province and how heartbreaking it is to see all of what Canada, but not only Nova Scotia that's gone through in the last couple months, it's horrible. So for me, I just wanna let you know that it's really important right now that you all understand coming out of a stunning, amazing school like SAIT, you have amazing opportunities to make a difference. 
So what I want to do right now is give you a little bit of my story and why you should care. I left home with a dirty hockey bag full of a little bit of stuff that I had. I had ambition. I had a personality, if you couldn't tell. And on top of that, I had no money. And on top of it, in the middle of it, I figured out I was gay. What a freaking resume. It really wasn't. But here's the thing. I loved construction. I don't know why I loved construction, I just did. My dad was a lobster fisherman, my mother was a homemaker, and I grew up with three other brothers. And then there was me. I really didn't know what it meant to be feminine. Here I am today. And the reality is, is that I never took my eye off the ball on why was I so attracted to this industry. I still don't know. But it really doesn't matter. Because when I left home, I had that dream in the back of my mind. And because I grew up in a family from very, very humble beginnings, we didn't have the money for me to go to school. I didn't have the time to go to school. My parents could hardly pay their bills. If there were no lobsters, there was no money. And so my biggest intent when I left home was to just be able to make my parents' lives easier. That was it. And along the way, it was how could I make money? How could I make money in an industry that I loved? So what do you do? You call everybody who is either an HVAC, plumbing, electrical, carpentry, and you say to them, I'm gonna work for you for free. Yep, that's right, for free. And if all of you guys are in that millennial slash not older generation, you're gonna see that we used to have phones back then that people used to slam down in your face. And so when I used to tell them that I was going to work for them for free, they used to hang the phone up on me. I would call them back and I would say, please, you're going to like me. I want everybody to hear what I just said. The one thing that I had was the confidence that I was a very likable human being. And I said to them, you're gonna like me. And I learn very quickly. What were they gonna say to that? No. So they took me under their wing. With that, from all of the different variables in the trade industry, I was able to teach myself a little bit about a lot of things. And then my big break came where I was able to do a job in Halifax, Nova Scotia for one of the wealthiest families. And it was in floor restoration. What would I know at 18, 19 about floor restoration? Nothing. But the owner's son came to me and said, you know, Renahan, you seem to be the only one that ever use, normally shows up for this job and you always have a smile on your face. And I'm like, thank you very much. And he said, can you do this job? Feeling my bowels in my ankle was, of course I can do this job, but I'm gonna need your credit card. And he stared at me kind of like my buddy behind the camera is staring at me right now. He says, I don't know why I'm gonna trust this girl from Yarmouth, but I'm gonna give her my credit card. To make a fat story thin, everybody, the reality is, is that what happened after that is that I needed to become very agile in that moment because I knew nothing about hardwood floors, refinishing them, nothing. But with his credit card, I was able to pivot very quickly because I knew that this was my shot. 12 days later, many favors, no sleep, and lots of Tim Horton muffins and coffees. The owner came back, the son of the owner. And he looked at me and there was a, a little bit of a tear in his eye. And I was frightened to death to not know whether that tear was of joy or he was ticked off. And I started to cry and I said, are you happy with what you see? And he looked at me and he says, I don't know what I expected from a girl from Yarmouth who I gave my credit card to, but this job supersedes everything that I thought it could be. So then we're both crying because I'm excited. And I said, well, it's a good thing because I said, I really didn't make any money on your job. And him and I both laughed and he says, Mandy, I'm not just gonna pay you, I'm gonna pay you double. And from that moment on, my name spread like a bad fart, everybody. 
Yep, a Bedford. The reality is, is that there wasn't anybody out there that wanted to know who this girl was from Yarmouth. And that there wasn't much that I couldn't do or that I wouldn't take on gratefully. Remember that word, grateful. My intent was always to gain the experience in this industry on my own with no money to make my parents' lives easier. So the reality is, is that when we talk right now, we want to talk about why did you go to SATE in the, in the beginning? Why did you want to be there? And what does your future really look like? When I started out on camera today, I told you that I was the blue collar CEO. And why am I known for that? Because I have been one of the biggest trade ambassadors in Canada, in the US for the last 10 years, because we have a systemic issue. And one of our biggest issues in shortages come from the fact that maybe three to 4% of our entire workforce are women. And that is an issue because I'm a pilot project, everybody that went really, really right. You might be thinking, Mandy, how did you make it? How did you get through it? You know what? You were a female, you were gay, you were all the above. I was never discriminated against one time, everybody, in my whole career for any of those items. More so than anything, the biggest issues that I had, which you may have too, was my age. There's a lot of people in this industry that are your peers, that are older than you, that know more than you do, and guess what? Rightfully so, the more mentors, the better. But you need to know that coming right out the gate, you need more experience and that's what you're after, is that you have a lot of what in technology, digitally, a lot of AI automation inside of what you've just graduated with, that my God, what I would have done to have that 25 years ago. So you need to know that you're starting out the gate with something that's invaluable but experience is what you're after. And the reality is, is that some people might laugh, but I'm just gonna give it to you straight. Personality is what made me the biggest success in my career because it never dawned on me not once to try to fit in to a box. It never dawned on me once to try to act like I was either more male, more female, more this, more that. I acted like me which is today, I still don't know any other way to act because I wake up like this every freaking morning. So you need to know something. In the world that we're living in today and going forward, the one thing that employers, small businesses, large businesses are looking for is that they're looking for authenticity. If you don't know what that means, look deeply into the camera. It means that they want somebody who's transparent, who's real, and that knows how to not only treat themselves, but to treat others while having a great laugh. Because performance comes from being happy. And that's the one thing that I've recognized in corporate constipation in my whole career, is how many people try to go fit in somebody else's box instead of draw, really drawing their own. So this is what I am, and this is why I believe that SAIT, and I wanna say it again, how humbled and honored I am to be at the other end of where you're gonna be in your 20 years with a ton of experience in science, in project management, in construction. There's nothing probably out there that I haven't done but I will say this, if you're gonna go out in the world today to make a change in an industry that very much needs and hungers for desire, diversity, ambition, but more so than anything, you wanting to make a difference in the new footprint of Canada. You see the news, I know you all do, and you understand that there is a massive acrimonious discussion going on daily about fossil fuels, our environment, 
everything that's going on in that realm of our world, knowing that we're going to need new technologies and who's going to build those technologies? You. We need people that know how to fulfill the new modern pipeline for you and them to be successful. And know this, this isn't just a career. And I talk about this all the time. Coming out of state with this type of degree, so to speak, you are absolutely in the most amazing position to pivot into entrepreneurship. And a lot of people will tell you that entrepreneurs are the heartbeat of our economy. Well, I'm here to tell you that today, they're more than that. They are the soul of our survival. Without more entrepreneurial thinking people with the degree that you just graduated with, there's two things that are gonna happen. We're gonna rise quickly, or we are going to sink at an unprecedented rate into a place of who's gonna do all this work? How are we gonna get there? We need people that think differently, kind of like I did 25 years ago, having no idea where I was headed. So kids, in closing, whether you've already got an alcoholic beverage in front of you that nobody knows you have, or you're gonna make your way over to the fridge uh, when this is done, I think it's important that you understand that what I'm trying to say is, is that you are that new generation of this industry. You are the new pride behind this generation that really is going to inspire all the people that normally wouldn't have come into this industry. You're going to be the ones to bring them in, just like I potentially was the reason why you came in. So with that, I'm out of here. I am done being filmed on camera. I'm going to have a cold beer. And cheers to you, my friends, knowing that there couldn't be a better diploma or degree that you could walk away from today than with our friends at SAIT. Have a wicked friggin' day, night, and the next time we see each other, there's gonna be a great big friggin' bear hug because this camera thing is not gonna work for me long term. Once each year, SAITE has the honor of presenting the Governor General's Academic Collegiate Bronze Medal to one dedicated and exceptional student. The medal is awarded on behalf of the Queen's representative in Canada, the Governor General. It is presented to the student who graduates with the highest grade point average in a diploma program. This year's award winner, Chiron Purdy, is graduating from the Business Administration Diploma Program with a 4.0 grade point average. A 4.0 grade point average is a remarkable achievement and a fitting tribute to Chiron's commitment to his studies throughout the program. Chiron overcame struggles with the ADHD and prescription medication and dedicated himself to his studies. The strength and determination Chiron has shown in multiple facets of his life, from overcoming adversity to working two jobs and maintaining top grades, is nothing short of extraordinary. SAIT is pleased to acknowledge Chiron Purdy as this year's Governor General's Academic Collegiate Bronze Medal recipient. Presentation of our Spring 2020 Valedictorians. Richard Huang, Civil Engineering Technology, School of Construction. Shortly after earning his English degree in Vietnam, Richard Huang set his sights on studying in Canada. Specifically, he wanted to enroll at the institution his friends and family said was the best for technical training in Western Canada. In 2017, Richard turned his dream into reality and was accepted into SAIT. 
an active member of the state community, Richard saw every volunteer experience as an opportunity to build leadership skills. He was elected by his peers to sit on SAITS as board of directors in 2019 and also volunteered as a peer mentor with SAITS Career Advancement Services. Richard's ability to see opportunity in every setback, including COVID-19, has him planning for a career as an entrepreneur or investor. In the more immediate future, he's looking forward to starting his full-time role with Kiwit Corporation. Melissa Carnavale, Information Technology, Computer Systems, School of Information and Communications Technologies. Curiosity around computers and a love for learning led Melissa Carnavale to SAIT. For 12 years, she worked in restaurants and studied wine, only later to find herself considering a different path to develop new in-demand skills. She started with an introductory class in computer sciences and as they say, the rest is history. Melissa's friends, teachers, and family supported her and helped her reach this milestone. Melissa's son was born during her first semester at SAIT, one week before finals, and her parents helped ensure she didn't miss a class. Today, Melissa is starting a new chapter and is working as an intern with Cisco as a software development engineer. Mackenzie Nuchos, Environmental Technology, McPhail School of Energy. Following high school, Mackenzie Nuchos pursued a science degree from the University of British Columbia. After months on the job hunt post-graduation, a friend suggested he check out SAIT to help him land the job he really wanted in environmental consulting. Shortly after, Mackenzie was playing frisbee at SAIT's orientation with his new friends from the Environmental Technology Program. During his time at SAIT, Mackenzie led the Environmental Technology Students' Organization as president and spent a week in Kananaskis designing and implementing field studies. Mackenzie found community at SAIT and he's thankful for his classmates and teachers for making his SAIT experience incredible. The evolving COVID-19 pandemic has made it more challenging to break into industry, but Mackenzie says he's confident that SAIT has prepared him to rise to any challenge. Brennan Shannon, Bachelor of Business Administration, Accounting, School of Business. Before SAIT, Brennan Shannon took a year off after high school to travel solo and backpack across Europe. He recalls making the decision to accept SAIT's offer and seat in the business program from a hostel in Ireland. Quickly after stepping foot on campus, Brennan wanted to get involved and take advantage of every opportunity for growth and learning that SAIT had to offer. He began networking, volunteering, and supporting fellow classmates and student clubs and was elected president of the State Accounting Society. During his studies, Brennan participated in a class trip to Zanzibar and helped problem solve business challenges with local entrepreneurs. He also represented SAIT and worked with business leaders at case competitions in Toronto and Washington. Next, Brennan plans to pursue a CPA designation with Deloitte in Calgary. Hi, I'm Melissa Carnavale. My name is Mackenzie Nuchis. My name is Brennan Shannon. Hello, my name is Richard Huang. It is in times like these that it is so important to remember the small things in life and the impact that they can have throughout this journey that we find ourselves on. I am super proud and excited to be here with you. We showed up. We delivered. We are finished. I want to acknowledge that none of us got here alone. So thank you to the family, friends, loved ones, and to the faculty that got us here today. Together, we are emerging into this world with new skills and knowledge we worked hard to get. The lessons you learned in hard work and perseverance, and the actions you took to create a brighter future for yourself and for those around you. The world is not the same place as it was two months ago when we finished our last classes together. 
day by day, I grew into a better and better individual. We are graduating even when our ability to learn was affected by the emotional distress caused by a global pandemic. And sometimes it was hard to appreciate where I was going and how I was improving. I'm sure that almost every state grad can appreciate that feeling. Mass home confinement, a fear of spreading COVID and contracting it myself took its toll on me. With the ongoing situation, I encourage you to feel inspired. Everyone's experience has been different. We've come together though and are working together in this time of crisis. Each small step propels you on your way. And it is important perhaps now more than ever to continue with those small actions and to move forward in any tiny way that you can. Since we started this journey, I have witnessed you all develop immense resilience in many ways. The class of 2020 should be remembered for the most resilient class. You've shown that you're ready to weather any storm. You're at the top of the Sate Hill now, and that's no small feat. But the world is waiting to see what your next summit will be. We are the class of 2020. This is important now. We deserve to celebrate. This is a milestone in the Gantt chart that is our lives. So as we go forth and take the next steps in our journey, I hope that you will continue to seize every opportunity presented to you and that you'll take a sense of pride and excitement for the future because we are ready. We can look back and appreciate the thousands of tiny steps that we took to get us to where we are. Be well prepared for the new normal world coming up and look forward to the future with determination. The class of 2020 is uniquely equipped to deal with hardship moving forward. This is a really difficult time for everybody, but it's especially difficult going through such a pivotal time in our lives. And going through this while also going through SATE, if you can do both of those things at the same time, you can do anything. You have all seized a great opportunity here at SAIT. Don't stop there. I believe in us. We will drive innovation forward. This could be a good time for you to visualize the person you want to become. Congratulations, Class of 2020. Class of 2020, congratulations. Congratulations, Class of 2020. Let's show them what we're made of. The next chapter is on us. Conferring of the Graduates. On the authority of the Board of Governors and in conformity with the statutes of the province of Alberta, I admit each graduate to the appropriate credential. Congratulations, graduates, well-earned and well-deserved. You can move your tassel from the right side of your cap to the left. Hello, my name is Tom Sampson and I'm Chief of the Calgary Emergency Management Agency and I'm proud to be playing a lead role in Calgary's response to COVID-19 pandemic. I'm also proud to be a SAIT graduate and part of the Distinguished Alumni and I've been asked to provide the welcome to the alumni family address. Graduates, take a moment to acknowledge how far you've come. It's incredible. Today you woke up as SAIT students and now you're alumni. You've worked hard. The last few weeks of SAIT have been an experience that were unprecedented, I'd say even historical. I hope you look back at this time and remember your incredible resilience. You have learned and earned the crucial skills needed for a strong start in your career. Your experiences as students, your relationships with your instructors and classmates have helped build on your strength and discover new capabilities and overcome new challenges. Your time here, both inside and outside of the classroom, has shaped and will continue to shape your career and your life. Now the question is, how will you shape the world around you? This isn't a small question, so I encourage you to start by looking at SAIT's alumni for some insight and motivation. As a graduate of SAIT, you're connected to a network of a quarter million highly skilled professionals across Canada. 250,000 people. They're also around the world. 
We are designers, we're builders, innovators, leaders, and entrepreneurs, advocates, champions, and so much more. So take some inspiration from your alumni. People such as Britt Jones, the Virgin Morning Show host who launched a fundraiser for Edmonton Food Banks. And Doug Braden, a graduate of SAIT's Mechanical Engineering Technology Program, who has pivoted his company to create upwards of 50,000 face shields for the healthcare industry a day. The alumni family also encompasses all industries, all talents and passions, not to mention an Order of Canada recipient, countless industry leaders, and many SAIT alumni who are working on the front lines as we navigate this pandemic. Our SAIT skills are proving essential. This is what being a SAIT alumni stands for. It means you are equipped to make your mark anywhere in the world. And it means you have the full force of those who came before you and those who will follow you. So stay connected. Even today, I connect with those who were in my class so long ago and those who followed me. As SAIT alumni, we have to, you know, Maintain those connections, they're extremely valuable. Your education is best in class, and this is just the beginning. I look forward to seeing what you have in store for the world. Congratulations, everyone. I hope you, you continue to flourish. Graduates, family members, friends, this now concludes our Spring 2020 Virtual Convocation Ceremony. Congratulations, Class of 2020.
You have just completed something special, but please remember learning never stops. It's always okay to ask for help and to keep growing your skills. Have fun and enjoy this wonderful time. Congratulations on your accomplishments. Always show up as your best self. Believe in yourselves and be fearless. Celebrate your accomplishments. You are so powerful. Know your worth and that you can achieve anything. Use your weaknesses as your strengths and carve your path in life. You're a true original. Let your colors shine brightly for the world. As a graduate, you've already understood the value and power of education. Now more than ever, this is the chance to create your own story. Trust your instincts, be courageous and kind, generous and fearless. Congratulations. This is a time like no other, for which you will be pioneers. Wear that badge proudly and pave the way for future graduates. Times may be tough, but you will persevere. Your time as a student at SAIT has prepared you to be strong and adaptable. Cherish your happiest and hardest moments and carry them forward to face everything head on. Best wishes and congratulations. Graduating from SAIT with the technical skills you learned has prepared you for your career path. However, the work ethic and friendships you've gained through the journey will prove to be as important as those technical skills. Welcome, class of 2020. SAID has done an amazing job preparing you for the world and to step out on your own. Never forget the memories you had during your journey at SAID. Welcome to the family.